This is Aaron with AnnetComputers.com, another video for you today. I wanted to show you how you can replace a hard drive in a Hewlett Packard 15-DW0 laptop. There are multiple models with the 15-DW. This video may help you remove the hard drive. Okay, so I have it face down and I already removed the screws that let me point out you have to remove six screws first. Now this is face down bottom you know what i'm saying you have to there's also a rubber insert here you have to remove the rubber insert there's four screws one two three four then on the front there's just two you you notice a rubber you do not need to remove that one obviously because the screws are down here i have no idea why they did that one two six screws so you just have to remove six screws if you don't remove them and you try to take this Laptop computer part Hewlett Packard 15 DW. You're gonna crack the the plastic. You know what I mean? Okay, so then the the bottom will come off, or if it's facing like if it's facing like this. Then you would lift the lid, and then it would it would separate. All right, I'm doing this because if I put it to if I put it together a certain way, it's gonna it's gonna stick. Okay, so what you would do is in order to take the two pieces apart, you're gonna separate the red from the satin silver. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver to remove the six screws. And then you will need maybe a guitar pick, maybe a plastic pick, like for a smartphone, or maybe metal, but be careful. You know what I mean? Something like you see how it, the edge is like that, so that you can separate. You want something that will separate the two pieces of plastic. Maybe even something like this, all right? So you would just take it. Well, even a fingernail, but maybe, maybe not. And then get it in there and then start separating the two pieces of plastic. And then as soon as it there's a gap, just keep going all the way around, all the way aside, even in the corner, all the way on this side and back here. So you want to separate the satin silver from the red because you loosen six screws. Okay, then you could lift up like this. And then you notice how it's completely apart. Now I will show you where the hard drive is at. And so the hard drive is right there. This is not obviously a standard SATA. It's a it's, it's not even a SATA, obviously. It's a solid state, but it's one of the NVM type. You know what I'm saying? It looks like a memory module. That's it right there. So this one came with a 128 gigabyte memory module that I want, I won't even be able to do it, I don't think, but I want to install a larger size hard drive, you know what I'm saying? So what you would do is you just take, I, could, I should have taken it out, but I wanted to show it, like it, how it would feel installed. So you just take a screwdriver. You know what, I might be able to accomplish it with one hand, it's kind of hard with one hand, but that's it. It's just a memory module type solid state drive. It, may have the model. Another, I'll give you some tips here. You know, I'm gonna upgrade the hard drive. However, you wanna look up the specifications and make sure that these Hewlett Packard DW laptops, the 15-DWs, well, the hard drive size. I, I've already looked it up. It's got a 120, I think it supports 256, maybe 512. I'm gonna look it up again. But like I said before, you want to, and then I might even replace it. I don't know if it's worth, you know, I, you know, I'm definitely going to try to upgrade it, but I might, it's only 128 gigabytes. And then it, this also video could help you if you need to replace it. And it's just right there. And there's a ribbon cable here. You don't want to mess around with any of that, but it, you just unscrew it and then you just pull it out. I will try to do it here. You know, I should have done it already, but 
I will need to lay, lay it flat so that what I can do is I can get some leverage on that screw. You know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry about that. So you just it's just one screw and you just gotta push a little bit. Yeah, if you if if I had it on the side like that, it's hard for me to get enough leverage on the screw. Gonna gotta have to kind of push down on it a little bit. Okay, so one screw is loose. I mean, you know, yeah, you have to. Have, your screws must be loose if. You, <laughs> okay, that's it. And then you just you can pull up on it, and you see how easy that is. Yeah, these are real easy, but it doesn't require much effort. Just lift up on it to make it loose, and then just pull out. That's it. And so you can see, you might see the model number. It's a solid state. And I think the model number is there. Yeah. So, but I want, I want to upgrade it. But again, make sure, do double check, verify on your own. Don't just take my word. And then to install it, you obviously get, they have to be the right type. Now these NVM type right here, these gold plates are different. Sometimes they have, you notice the gaps on both sides. Sometimes the gaps are different spaced. I'm not making this up. Sometimes I think I could be wrong, but I think sometimes there's only a gap on one side or the gap, you see where the spaces are, the, the gaps. Well, you notice, yeah, I think they're the same. But sometimes they're a different size gap and they look almost identical. But when you go to install it, it doesn't fit because, because you're, you know, the connector has to have, you know, it has to fit the right size. Okay. So all you do is, and then you just push in a little bit. It's kind of hard because I'm doing this one hand, but there you go. So it doesn't require much effort. Just push in, and this one just kind of sets down. And then you just obviously put the screw back, and then put the laptop together. So I have about 30 seconds. That's it. That's how you replace the hard drive on a Hewlett Packard 15-DW-0. And I will try to find the specific model number for this laptop. If not, the Hewlett Packard 15-DW series lap series laptops. You can you can you know use this video at the very least if it does have a NVM. You're just gonna and it, it, it could be screwed down with more than one screw or maybe a, a a wider one. You know what I'm saying? At least this video helps you. Just the basics. Make sure that if there's more screws involved remove them all. Like I showed you where the rubber was, the two rubber, you can go back early in this video. Here, you see where there's a rubber right there. That one, I, that, the top one, I didn't take out. The bottom one, I had to, all right? Just be, be thorough, be thorough, because you just never know. What can happen is that you start to t take the laptop apart and then you don't, you didn't remove all the screws and then you start to break the, the, the plastic case, you know what I'm saying? And this case is very flimsy, very flimsy. So just be thorough, make sure you remove all the screws, and then make, you know, then, you know, any screws for the, and then take it out properly. And again, do perform your own research and find out the exact model of Hewlett Packard 15-DW so that when you order the hard drive, it, it will be correct. Now, I think I looked it up once before, and these are only like $15, $15 for these little 128 gigabytes. So, but I'd like to get up to 256 or 512. That is my video on how you can remove a hard drive from the Hewlett Packard 15-DW laptop. You can always browse to anacomputers.com to fix your most common computer problems. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Computers. I have been not intentionally, I've been lying to you, but not intentionally, giving you the, you the wrong YouTube handle. YouTube now has the ability for handles. YouTube.com slash at RealityPC is my YouTube handle. Also, I am on Twitter. 
twitter.com slash ain't at computers twitch.tv slash ain't at computers troll without live slash ain't at computers i'm on facebook you can like my facebook page facebook.com slash ain't compute a-n-e-t-c-o-m-p-u-t-e also tiktok tiktok.com slash ain't at computers instagram instagram.com slash ain't at computers any of those platforms was twitter instagram facebook you will become notified as well as youtube when i upload new content and especially videos adios